Look at that beautiful scenery. Welcome to the History Hunter. Hi people. Hi people, she says. Me and my daughter out on the road trip. We're going to take you to a very, very special Second World War location today. So just sit back, relax, enjoy the sceneries and let us fill you in as we go along. Way, way up there is where we're going, up in the mist. And it's going to be gruesome, it's going to be very tough. Just take a look at that breathtaking scenery up there. Just absolutely amazing. Yeah, and believe me, this is very, very steep. This is so good we have a 4x4, because this would not be possible to do without a four-wheel drive car. Still though, we are a bit anxious. Well, so far so good. This is in the middle of absolutely nowhere. This is where the water rushes down in the springtime after the snow is melting. Well, for those of you who, who are maybe a little bit afraid of heights, we came from all the way down there, absolutely all the way down in the mist. Let me show you where we came from. It's absolutely impossible to see actually from here, all the way down where you can see that lake. That is where we came from. I don't know about you, but for me, this is pure heaven. This is pure tranquility and, uh, you know, just amazing. Well, um, now we are really out here in the wilderness. This is the last piece of what you could call a path. It ends here. And we're gonna cross over this hill here and down into a valley. This is about the spot that we were last time. When we had to turn around, which we gruesomely remember and hate. <laughs> so why are we dragging you all the way up here in the mountainside for the second time? Well, my friends, it's got everything to do about what you see here. This is a location where the um, Allied with RAF dropped a lot of uh, these drop containers. You can see one of them there. And there could be anything inside, mines, hand grenades, Tommy guns, machine guns, Lee Enfields, munition. Absolutely anything could be in some of the containers that are actually still up here. Uh, they were often dropped by this aircraft type here and in this area there were multiple drops so what we're here for is actually to find anything at all that could be uh, you know a part of that we really don't know if we're gonna be lucky uh, the entrance area that we came to last time, we were just knackered and empty of uh, everything, so we had to turn back. That was up there, we had some problems with GPS and stuff. We don't have that today, so join us and let's see if history will share anything from this very, very unique location. You know, the uh, drop zones are the most elusive uh, pieces of the Second World War battlefields because it's just what it is. It's a spot where someone dropped something, someone came and collected it, but the drop cylinders were very often left there, dug down or hidden. So that's basically what happened. Just a few seconds, an aircraft passing by, dropping down all the supplies, leaves, people come and collect it, and boom, history is over. So it's a very, very narrow piece of, uh, it's a very small window of history. This. That's the drop area, the whole valley here. Unreal, unreal. Now it's just a matter of getting down there. Oh, I'm so excited coming down this area here, passing this stuff. I was supposed to take a drink of water here. And then I was just looking down here. I thought I saw a stick. And let me see if I can show them. There is something that looks very, very familiar there. Holy cow, that is a machine gun belt cartridge, so called 303, 
Holy, in the middle of that, maybe one of the containers came down here, ripped apart and dropped some of the stuff inside. Holy Madonna. That's a very, very small thing. Just one, it's like a belt. It's been on a machine gun belt. Amazing. I have to admit, I've never expected in a million years that we could actually find anything at all. And now we have a British 3 or 3. Look at that, crevice there. It could easily be a hiding spot for whatever. There's something there. What is that thing? Oh, that's a rock. Very exciting, very exciting. You know, with nature like this, you never know what to expect. Look at that. There are small potholes everywhere. Oh, look in those ravines there. Oh, this is gonna be tough. I'm just gonna have a little look around here. It's a huge bone here. I don't think that there were ever any fights around this area. It's a huge bone laying there. Who knows what that's for? From? That's the valley where it all took place. A lot of drops were made in this flat area because during winter time especially it would be easy to locate each and every container instead of dropping it into the rock faces and on the mountains they dropped it here in this flat area and the crew and the resistance went down and picked it up the boulders and rocks here are just so big you want to see something scary look at that ravine up there wow would not have dared to go up there. Would you have dared to climb up there? No. No. Got some birds hanging around there. Look at that cliff, cliff rock there. Holy. Well, could this be a piece of the uh, containers? Maybe. It could be. Wow. Look at that. And why is that there if it's not belonging to something? That was here at that time. Interesting, very interesting. You know, I make these beautiful World War II dioramas that I do for my giveaways. Well, I want all of you to have a piece of history. That's what I have this motto. Motto is history is everywhere. And today I'm gonna go do something pretty stupid, but you know, the aircraft actually did some of these sorties. They were the Halifax. And I want this Halifax to actually have been on this drop site. So I'm gonna change over to the other camera in just a second. My motto, as I said, history is everywhere. I'm really passionate about that and I want one of you out there to be the lucky owner. Very very special diorama that I'm gonna make. We have that 303, who knows what more we're gonna find. But just imagine in the 40s this area was a very active area where one of these aircrafts came flying in, dropped its cargo, took off again and the allied helpers down in this valley came in or very often in the winter time with skis, picked up the containers, took the content, hid away the, the containers around here, and then it was just a waiting time, and it all happened over and over again during the Second World War. So, when you see one of my videos where I do the World War II diorama giveaways, there would be a chance for either one of the Patreon or PayPal supporters to be the lucky owner of this specific model being at this specific drop site where it all happened in the 1940s. Right, take the big jump here. Yeehaw! <laughs> Crossing a muddy lake water thing here. Holy cow. We now walked for about an hour since the last encounter here with the uh, huge rock face that we were at where I showed you the aircraft and this is the start of the drop zone and it just goes on and on and up there so we have a photo that shows something 
with a lot of rock on the left hand side pointing that way and that's the only possibility of being rocks close to trees because here you can see trees and that's the main kind of evidence that we have to go after so that's our goal I want to say a huge thank you to all my faithful patron and PayPal supporters you are actually the people who make this come true we can take these road trips plan them research them and take you along on fantastic locations maybe not the greatest find here but nevertheless very historic place and uh, beautiful location just for the scenery by itself also want to say a huge thank you to my daughter i just want to say i really do appreciate all the moments out here with you so i know you're behind me there you know a bit tired right now but normally you go in front so i'm just happy today <laughs> something you don't see too often up here look at that steel cable is that all we can find I'm not sure that that looks oh come on I have to bring it up here where is it that looks very made if you ask me is that something from the containers I couldn't tell you who knows holy madonna my daughter made this fantastic discovery here look at that that is probably the framework of one of the drop containers are you insane let's get that up there now we're talking look at the hatch there holy cow i do oh i'm almost falling here are you kidding me and my daughter made a small discovery further up here so let's go and have a look at that but that thing there is definitely coming with us that is the framework of the um the drop cylinders holy madonna we found it is that amazing or what so there's another one can you get it off because we don't want to destroy them if they're com complete like this but this is a separate part and that's what i said i want history to be out there so this is definitely gonna be in one of my dioramas for my giveaway so check out those videos and you could be the owner of a very special event from the mountainside up here in the wilderness while well, we were about to return give up surrender just lay down and cry and look at what we have we have the structures of the uh, allied drop containers from the bomber aircraft Look at that, there's a wing nut thing. Holy Madonna, this is so cool. Look at that, that's a, whatever you call it. Maybe the parachute, you think the parachute could be attached to this one? Or maybe the parachute was attached to this. Like this one here. Wow, that is so cool. My daughter, she's just spotted something. She got radar eyes up there. I think we have a jackpot. I think our mission will be completed on that hillside wow i do believe you are right my daughter i do believe you are right up there we can see a lot of pieces don't need a metal detector don't need anything else than our eyes so let's go up there and see what's left wow this is exciting one very very short historical moment airplane airplane coming in dropping it off the crew take it off and it's just been laying there since that time we we're just so spooked a flock of birds was sitting just where we came up and they took off and scared us like heck wow can you see this let me show you this these are the remains of the drop tanks let me show you one here there's the frame of one of them and that's one of the holders for the parachute line wow holy madonna we actually found it we actually found it and look here there is what seems to be uh, a hatch lay that there and there's a round end of one of them that's one of the end pieces a lot of pieces shattered around here Look at that, there's another piece of the attachment. 
Wow, I have to say this is so cool. We've been struggling for like 20 hours to show you this. Just a small piece of metal. Nevertheless, quite important pieces of metal for what happened during wartime where this was very necessary. Let me take you up there. Let's check out the other part there. Here's another view. So here, let's lift up this one here. See how big they are. That's the attachment point. There's a heavy duty. That is probably what was attached under the aircraft. Let me see if I can get you down there. That attachment point was probably the one releasing it from the aircraft. It was dropped like a bomb, you know. Frame there. Wow. As I said, this is just metal pieces with no value, but uh, so, so interesting to be able to finally, finally find a drop zone place where you can actually find the drop tanks. See that? This is just rust collecting from the spot here. But look at that, that is a brass. Is that still working? Are oh, you freaking kidding me? Look at that. There's a, there's a nut here still working actually. Are you freaking kidding me? That's a brass nut and it's still operative. <laughs> oh my God. That is pretty crazy. This is a shock absorber. This piece here, you can see, is purposely built so when it lands, it will act as a shock absorber. So this is actually the front that will come down. This piece is elevated or raised. And you see when it hits something, this collapses and it's made to kind of absorb the uh, impact of, of the uh, container coming down. That is so cool to actually see. I ah, just love that thing there. My daughter made a fantastic discovery here. Look at that. This piece here. Uh, there's a piece with a handle. Look at this. Actually it still operates. And this huge piece of rubber mat. This is probably from the inside. And another. Was that rubber as well? Is it? Oh, that's kind of like. Yeah it is. Wow. So you have something that belonged inside of this container. I'm not sure what that is. Looks like a filter of some sort. Very strange. Maybe some of you can help us out with identifying some of this stuff here. But that is massive. That is further up here in the hillside. So, history did share with us today. There's another shock absorber front plate. And we actually did it together with all of you out there. I'm so, so happy for your kind support. That actually makes us possible to do what we do here today. It takes a lot of effort and of course a lot of money traveling Filling, filling up gas, taking it to ferries, aircrafts, whatever. So I'm very appreciative that you support us out there. But look at that. That's the actual drop containers being loaded up. There is the shock absorber plate. That in the front there. That is just there. Here are the bodies of the uh, shock, uh, sorry, the uh, containers. And inside, who knows what was inside here. Um, like the lower picture there, you can see all kinds of weapons. There are the hinges, lifting holes, the, the locking hinges, everything is there. I can't see the, uh, maybe the foam was on the end there, as you can see. Ah, oh, this is so exciting, so exciting. And as I said so many times before, thanks to you, we can go out and do this, find history like this and share it in a way that I think very few people are willing to do. So thank you for all your kind support. Yeah, my daughter just said, what did you say? How far it is. How far is? And just look at that. We've been all the way in the horizon there, all the way down the hill on the other side, up the hill, down the hill. Wow. But anyway, I just want to say a huge thank you for taking part of this nice and uh, it's a privilege for us to be able to share this with all of you out there hope you enjoyed it 
until next time what do we say girl ciao ciao she's so tired she doesn't even say bye but i say it also ciao see you later stay safe and goodbye